everyone, I'm Zing. I'm 19 years old and I'm a professional Valorant player. Hi, uh, my name is Pearl. Uh, I'm Zing's mom. How do you feel getting interviewed by mommy? A bit weird, like awkward, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling awkward as well. <laughs> do you remember when you started playing uh, games? I feel like five years old. In, in like the old house, got like computer, then I just like play for fun. When Tiu Tiu come to our house, right, then he, he like logged into his account, then he let me play, right? Then oh. his, account, his account got got CS 1.6, and I just play, because like nothing else to play, you know? Yeah, my younger brother is actually quite a gamer as well, so, you know, boys will be boys. Uh, so, yeah, he came to my house uh, during the holidays and then set up the computer for my son. And I think he logged into his account and uh, yeah, just let my son play his uh, games. Yeah, but he helped me do everything. I just like play, you know. Oh. And like, I just keep playing. Then eventually got like new games and stuff. Then I just ask you to help me buy. Then you help me buy, then I play. Yeah. Like when he was in my tummy, I was playing this Command and Conquer game, you know. Like 24-7. Basically, I sleep, I wake up and I play that Command and Conquer Red Alert game throughout the whole pregnancy without me knowing why as well. So basically, my whole 10 months with him in the tummy is like, eat, sleep, game, yeah, all the way, and until he pops out. So maybe that's the calling, you know? <laughs> like, usually you play for fun, but what makes you want to go pro? I never really, like, want to play pro. I was just play, playing for fun all the way, but then, like, when Valorant come out, then I just play a lot. Then me and my friends win a lot. Then got like random tournaments and they want to play. Then they just asked me to join. We won quite a few tournaments and then I think like uh, more and more like organizations notice us and then that's how I like slowly get picked up. And then now I'm like here in PaperX, like uh, the org that I'm currently in. Actually, it was one of your friends like messaged mommy and say that, Auntie, do you know that uh, your son is actually like top one rank in the world? Then I'm like, huh? I reached uh, rank 1 for like some character. I actually also, I also don't know how, how they all know. They told me it's like your rank was like there for two weeks, then suddenly you went missing. And I was like thinking, eh, when missing is because exam time. So I off the <laughs> computer, I pluck out. I say no. I told my son, I say, two weeks before the exams, no game. Cannot touch the computer at all. If not, I will smash the computer. Mm. I'm very fierce because I never expected him to go into this line, you know, like suddenly become professional player because never in my wildest mind that I, I will think of my son, you know, like he will go this path. I never really like think of it, you know, because in my mind that time it's just like play for fun. Mm. Why suddenly you want to go professional, yeah? It's not really like want to like play professional, it's just it's like Valorant need like five people per team, right? But mm. then like uh, there was like four, four of us, like me, Jaden, Donnie and Arthur. And then like we wanted to join tournaments but we needed like one more person. So like we were like looking for like the last person to play but we couldn't find it. But then just nice like a few days after like we talked about this, right? Like there, there was this or, or organization called Real, Reality Rift. They wanted like a new team so they had like removed everyone except for the team captain and he told and they told like the team captain to find like four more people to join the team. So like he asked four of us and then we were like oh just nice, like we wanted to play pro and then the opportunity came. So honestly, I didn't really want to like join in the first place because I, was, I just wanted to play for fun, but I kind of felt like bad a bit, like if like they want me to join, but like, I never joined, you know, it's like they have been talking about this all the time and then just nice got one person come and then if I don't want to play, then they have to find like one more person. So I was like, okay, I'll just join and just see how it goes because I was having like online class then like very free, you know, nothing to do. So I just joined and then we played. So you got influenced by them in a way? A, a bit, mm. I think. Oh, so do you remember when is the time that you actually really want to go pro yourself? I think it's after like, like we joined a few tournaments and then we actually win. Then I, I realised like, oh, actually, I, I'm not that I'm not that bad, can can like win. And then like, I was playing well also, right? So I think like if I continue, like continue playing like this, like playing well, right, then maybe like we can win more tournaments and stuff then I don't know it's like exciting you know when we play how do you feel to be like one of the more successful players young players in Singapore and actually APEC I don't really like think of myself as like 
like super like successful or anything. I, I still think it's still like the start start of my career. So I'm just playing, doing doing what I like, and everything just like fell into place. I think. Yeah. It's like. I don't know. Oh yeah. Lucky a bit, I think. In the family, I also like to tell him oh, uh, something. If you want to play the game, uh, you must win. Do you feel anything like pressure from mommy's side? You know, like oh, my mom wants me to win that kind of thing. Do you actually feel it? No, I think I'm used to it already because you always come in and ask. You know. <laughs> jing. 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 Easy, jing. 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 We love Jing. Jing. <laughs> I like Jing too. So now uh, you have a fan base uh, ongoing in Singapore, uh, Asia Pacific. Uh, basically internationally, so how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's it's very different. It's like a new thing for me because like remember last time, on my social media everything have nothing. I'm like very private, you know. Yeah. I never, <laughs> I never like I don't know. I just don't like to post so much on social media and stuff. And I was like quite like private and stuff. I just use social media to like look at look at like my friend stuff and everything. I don't really post stuff. But once I join like the team I I'm in now, Paper X, then. They, they told me like even though you're a pro player, you still have to still have to work on my social media presence, yeah, yeah, yeah. like build social, a fan base, yeah, yeah. something like that. So yeah. at first, I didn't know it's like important also, so I didn't really care much. Like as, as time goes on, I realized like actually they're right. Like now I, I stream quite a lot, but last time I didn't want to stream at all. It's like it's because I kind of got forced to actually. Uh, it was in the contract that I signed. They wanted me to stream like a couple hours every month. I you was, told mommy to yeah. tell them, mommy, can you ask them to remove the streaming because thing? I don't want I, to do I, live I, streaming. I, I really didn't want to stream or I didn't think I'll like it. Because I, usually when I play, I just want to like play myself. I don't really want to... I don't know, it's just something that I never expected to enjoy. And I didn't think it was as like, useful as the they told me it was because they said it help, really helps with like, your social media presence and everything. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll just try. And then I did it, then it's going well. So and far, your fan base is like, the first time he on the stream, it's like, there's like a few hundred redeem. Like very, then it goes up really, really fast, like near to 1,000. Every time he stream, it always increased like super fast. I don't know, like his statistics is like, do, 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 like. Only one year, you know, and then he has like 260k followers on Twitch and he doesn't even show his face. Imagine if you show your face. Ding. No one. <laughs> so now uh, you already have the social media presence. How do you feel about doing all the live streaming and going for the fan meet and greet? How do you feel? I think for live streaming, it's like normal for me because I always like do it and then I'm at home, so it feels like I'm just playing normally, you know, like it's like for fun and I think for live streaming I'm okay, but for the fan meet, like the paper X uh, meet and greet thing, I don't know, I, I think like if I see a lot of people, I'm still like a bit scared, but all the fans are like really nice, so, so like we'll just sit there, then people will queue up, then they come to us, and usually they'll want us to sign, maybe like sign their like phone case or like they buy poster, they want us to sign their poster or something, then we just like sign for them. Then we take photo and then it's not that like scary, I guess. Cause I mean, I'm also there with my whole team and then like the fans. Ting's fan base is very good. Oh, yeah, all the fans are like very nice. Like, very every sweet. Time, every time mm. they come, they will like buy stuff for us. Like they will buy snacks, like plushies, everything. Like they really love him a lot, man. It's like they buy him snacks, they buy him poka green tea. They know what he like. Then even the t-shirt, all the sizes are all correct. I'm amazed. Uh, how do you think you have grown uh, from being an introvert to like now? Actually, I think I'm still the same. It's just that I'm... Um, like you actually less, talk more? Overall, just slightly better and less, a bit less shy, but... Uh, Do you feel any pressure to be better now? I mean, for interviews and stuff, not really. I don't really like try to be better or anything, but I just slowly improve, I guess. I think the only aspect that I really try to... Like, I focus on improving is gameplay, because if you don't uh, keep like continuing to improve, then people will catch up with you and you'll fall behind. So yeah, that's the only thing like, I kind of like put pressure on myself is to improve. Uh, baby, do you have any uh, expectation of yourself in terms of like playing competitive or playing rank? Like you must always be like Radiant Top 10 or like Radiant 1 or 2 or whatever. Do you have any expectation on that? But I think the, the main expectation I have is just like overall as a player, just continue being like how I am now and don't like fall behind. Don't slack, right? Yeah, like don't slack. 
because like if once you slack and you're behind, it's harder to like play catch up. It's better to always like stay ahead. I think. Mm. So like I, that's why I, I I try to play every day and play as much as I can. Like, if I'm not tired, I'll usually be playing. But you enjoy doing that, right? Or is it like more of like, oh, it's work. I must do this. I mean, sometimes if I play too much, then I'll feel like that. But I try to enjoy it as much as I can. But I, I think if you enjoy, then like it's more fun. Then like you improve like more. So I think. Yeah. So when you play games, uh, do you actually feel burnout sometimes? Okay, actually, if I usually if I'm playing bad, I'll just make myself play more. That's why sometimes like usually after twelve, you see me like I won't really be playing anymore, right? Yeah. But then usually if I'm playing after twelve, it's it's because I feel like. I'm playing bad, so I just keep playing more and try to improve. Yeah, like get back in shape. I I think, but mm. then I don't know. I feel like sometimes if I play too much, then I feel burnt out. Then I'll just take like if I can outside of practice, I won't play for maybe like one or two days at most. Then I feel like it it helps to like, reset my mind, and then I'll be able to like play okay again. Oh no wonder that th- like every time if mommy go in around four five a.m. and you're still playing, you're like super focused. You know, you like don't really. Reply, mummy. You know. Yeah. Oh, so now I know. That's the time when you feel burn out. Then is there anything that uh, you will do when you are stressed or like you do anything to de-stress? I think to de-stress. I don't know. I just sleep and eat. That's it. Nothing else actually. <laughs> that, that's it. That's, that's really. That's really it. I, I never do anything else. Okay, maybe like sometimes, once in a while, I might go out with my friends. But I wouldn't like go out because I'm stressed. It, usually, I go out is because you're happy. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. But to de-stress, I think just sleep and eat. So when you feel stressed, do you think you can like come and find mummy to talk, or anybody else? I mean, yeah, of course. But usually, I just I don't know. I think it, I'm really stressed. But if I'm really stressed, usually I just ask you like if you can order food or something. <laughs> that's true, though. Yeah, I think that's just like the best way. So, baby, do you feel any stigma when you decided to pursue gaming instead of like the traditional path? I think I think no because usually most people that that I know or people that like know me they they don't really say anything bad. Usually it's like more positive things. So I think it's like the opposite of like being stigmatized. Like people actually some some people actually ask me for advice. For, like, yeah, for advice and help and how how like they can go pro. Mm. They never really yeah. I don't think there's really people that talk bad about me or at least I I, I don't know of it or. Uh, I'm from a Indo Chinese family, so my family values are more of like uh, do whatever makes you happy, and so I kind of like bring this thing into my kids as well. So I tend to stress to them that uh, in life, whatever you do, you must make sure that you're happy when you're doing it. If you're not happy, then just don't do it. It includes uh, studying. If you're not happy, <laughs> then you know. There's always like alternative paths to take. So far, all the comments from people are all positive. There isn't really negative comments. So even some of my uh, friends from my old schools, like primary, secondary schools, some of them actually message me again and say like, "Oh, congrats, congrats on this, congrats on that." And yeah, there isn't really any like hate towards me. So yeah. Okay. So moving forward, uh, what are your plans? For now, I'll just try to play as long as I can because even in BCT, I have people that's like thirty plus years old. They still can play. So I think if if like I continue playing and I don't like slack, I think I can still play for quite long. So for mm. now, it's just to just focus on playing. I don't really know what I want to do like next time. Like if I'm not playing anymore, but live streamer. I don't know. I I never think about it yet because mm. like I think still it's still like far. I think for now, just mm. play as as long as I can and. Just do my best, I guess. Mm. Do you have any uh, advice for people who wants to pursue gaming and other alternate paths? I think for me, I, I I mean I didn't really plan to like play professionally. I just like focus on improving and doing what I, I like. So I I think for people, like for everyone, I think they, you shouldn't force yourself to do something you don't like. You should always do what you like because it will make you like happier and more motivated. So I think. In the end, there will be better results. Like if you are doing what you like, so just keep working hard. Like many people also ask me, like how they can go like uh, pro in gaming and stuff, but like they don't put in uh, like enough work. I think so. It's not really as easy as you think it seems. You still have to put in a lot of hard work, even though it looks like I'm just having fun and stuff. But even outside of 
like just me streaming and playing for fun I actually put in a lot of hard work it's like years and years of built up hard work and just playing a lot I guess just doing what I like so yeah just hard work and do what you enjoy uh, I think for this part now maybe we can share like what we are thankful for in each other so uh, baby uh, mommy is thankful for you because you're a very easy kid to bring up uh, never give me problem uh, love you very much you're always my baby and uh, yeah never give me problem at all it's like zero problem so I'm very thankful very happy I'm very thankful because you never hold me back and like you just let me do what I like so I can just focus on playing I think like typical like Singaporean parents right they they might be like unhappy and stuff if like their child wants to play professionally and stuff so like they cannot really focus on playing because they are like thinking a lot but for me I can just do what I like and don't think so much because like you are like chill you know How was it like getting interviewed by mommy baby? I think a bit a bit awkward but like Fun right? Know, everything yeah but like everything you you tell me or I tell you I think we both know everything really yeah. so. <laughs> Even though it's like a bit awkward, but I do enjoy some time like the two of us together, you know, like now sitting down and chatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Later we go and eat something nice, okay? Okay. Mm.